Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today's going to be a little different of a video. I have a friend, and actually I have a couple um, on my YouTube and my Facebook that have requested this, but um, I know when I first started crocheting, it was not something that I could do to read a pattern. Um, and I really never thought I'd be able to read a pattern because I would usually do my um, projects by video. Now all I do is read patterns. Um, I've got it, gotten really comfortable with it. Um, so now I do all of my projects by pattern. Uh, reading pattern that is. So I've had a couple requests to do a teaching type pattern. A uh, video, I'm sorry. How to read the pattern itself. But I think it's more beneficial if as I'm reading you this pattern and teaching you, I feel it's just as important to uh, do the pattern with you. Um, it's one thing to explain what this means, what that means, what this is, but it's another thing uh, to show it. Um, as I was in school, I was easier uh, taught as I did hands-on. And so I want to make this um, very learnable, <laughs> my word learnable, for um, my followers. And I'm hoping that this gets through and this helps you guys out. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this uh, free pattern by RedHeart.com, first beret and scarf. But now we're just doing the beret part, okay? So I can teach you a little bit about the pattern as we go. First thing you need to recognize is if you go to redheart.com or Lion Brand, anything like that, usually your sites will have a pattern number. This is the pattern number, which is LW2741. Now, what I need you to do is, if you're following along with me, please print the pattern or pull it up on your computer. This is very important in learning the pattern. All right, and then on the Red Heart patterns, you have a scale of difficulty. This is a beginner. And then it will go to easy, then it will go to, I um, can't remember the third one, intermediate. Anyways, it goes up by level. Um, this is the information section. What it's going to tell you is the beret fits most women. And then it tells you the scarf, but we're not going to worry about that. It will then tell you what yarn that in this picture that they're using, okay? Uh, it should tell you if that one ball or two balls or three balls is going to make what's in your picture so you know how much yarn to get before you start your project. Um, so you're only going to need one ball and this is calling for spearmint. Now I of course don't have that so I'm going to use uh, this multicolor here from Red Heart. Um, I think this is a really beautiful color and it looks nice in a pattern. And I do a lot of sales with hats and berets so um, I'm doing this pattern also so I can have this beret and post it on my website um, and also take it to the craft and fairs. So it tells you right here your colors and how many skeins you use. Then down below it, it's going to show you your size of your crochet hook, which is a 5.5 millimeter or a US I9 hook. Okay, so what I have is that hook, and you look in the center of your hook, that will tell you. Um, and it gives you options uh, as far as elastic things like that, which I don't usually bother with. But if you choose to read that, it is there on the pattern. Alright, so then the next section is always going to give you a gauge. Now, most patterns I've ran across give you the gauge. Uh, they're not always important, and it will tell you that in this section. Um, some will say... Um, what this says, it says use any size hook to obtain your gauge. Some will say gauge is not important. So for the, the beret, you're going to do one to two rounds, which is going to give you three inches across. Okay, so three inches across in a, in a uh, little square swatch should consist of one to two rounds. Okay, so anyways, just making this short and simple, read your gauge. Okay, it's going to be different based on the pattern. Um, and when it says to use any size hook to obtain your gauge, that means use the hook that's appropriate for the yarn that you're using. Um, so then it just go. this one goes right into the pattern. Sometimes there are uh, 
another there's usually another paragraph or two below that tells you the stitches that you're going to be using or any special notes describing how to use those stitches but in this case it does not show that so we're not going to bother with that but just in case you do see something that says notes usually it'll say the word note instead of gauge but it'll be under here and it will just be specific about your stitches and things like that okay so that's basically the information part of the patterns alright guys welcome back to video two of the teaching technique of reading patterns so what we're going to do now is oh, sorry let me zoom in uh, it starts right off the bat onto the beret now again I can't stress this enough to print your pattern or follow along with me on your computer all right so to do your beret I'm gonna be zooming in and out quite a bit so that I can let you see up close what the pattern says so just bear with me with that so I'm gonna come out a little bit and I'm gonna scooch this up actually back because I don't want the pattern in here so if you have your pattern in front of you the pattern is gonna to say to chain five so one two three four and five now it says with a slip stitch join with a slip stitch to form the ring so you're going to go back to you your first uh, chain and you're going to put your hook in grab your yarn pull through and through and then you'll have your circle okay and this is the base for many 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 hats and projects uh, so it's important that you learn how to do this now I'm not going to go in deep detail about how to do each stitch I will show it one time and move on because this is a tutorial um, based on the fact that you know the basic stitches which are single double half double and triple crochet okay so you do need to know those four basic stitches for this pattern now for round one it's going to say chain three okay two double crochet in the ring and chain one all right so you're, you're going to chain three one two and three do two double crochet in the ring and then chain one so double crochet yarn over go inside your circle grab your yarn wrap pull through two wrap pull through two so there's one now you want to do one more and do the same thing for a double crochet all right so now basically you have a total of three if you count that chain three so now you want to chain one now you have brackets what that means is you're going to do this from this bracket to this bracket which is three double crochet in the ring chain one you're going to do that a total of four more times okay so you did this into the ring now this is what you're going to repeat four times okay so let me put my pattern aside so what you're going to do is you're going to yarn over and you're going to put three double crochet in your center ring um, and forgive me if I do go a little slower because I do want to make sure that I do everything correctly and I want to make sure that my viewers can keep up at a reasonable pace okay so that's three more double crochet now you do have to chain one alright so that's one time you're gonna do another cluster what well, is called a cluster if you have more than one stitch going together another cluster of three double crochet there's two and there's three then chain one that's very important okay the third cluster so do three double crochet in your center there's two and there's three okay so then one more cluster and that'll make it four one two and three okay and chain that one all right put that down a second now back up to the top so once you've done that four times you're going to join with a slip stitch to the top of the chain three 
So what that's telling you is you're going to go to that first chain three that we did. You're going to count up one, two, three. So you want to stick your hook inside that stitch. Make sure you have two loops on that hook. Grab your yarn, pull through, and through for a slip stitch. Okay, video three. Now, where we're going from here is you're going to do round two. So you're going to slip stitch, chain three, and two double crochet in parentheses. So this is going to be what you're going to repeat around, okay? So you're going to do that all in the next double crochet. So you have three double crochet here. You want to slip into this next one. Chain three. Okay, and then it wants you to do two double crochet in the same stitch. One and two. Okay, now what it says is you have a star. You're going to chain one, three double crochet all in the next space. Okay, so space means you're going to jump over to this chain one gap here from previous round. So let's do our chain one first, then you're going to jump right into that space, not stitch, and you're going to do three double crochet here. Okay? Now, next, you have another star. You're going to chain one, skip next double crochet, three double crochet, and next double crochet. And you're going to repeat all the way to the end. So you're going to now do this part here, and then you're going to jump back and do this, and then come back down here to do this, this, and this. You're just going to, excuse me, you're going to keep doing both of the asterisk information sections all the way around. So that would mean you're going to do a chain one. Now you're going to skip the next double crochet, which is here, and then you're going to go into the middle one for three double crochet. And you are going in the stitch on this one, okay? So there's two, and there's three. Now you're going to move to that second asterisk, um, which is right here. You're going to skip the next double crochet, and three double crochet, which is what we just did. Now you're going to go back up to here. You're going to chain one, double crochet in the next space. All right, so we'll chain one double crochet in the next space, which is that next chain one space, okay? You'll put three double crochet here. That's two. Three, okay? Now you're just going to go back. You're going to go back down to here and do the chain one, skip next double, and three doubles in the next double, okay? So you're going to chain one, skip this double and go into that center double right here. I'm sorry, not that one. And then you'll do three double crochet here. All right, and then you'll go back to that asterisk where it says to chain one. You'll skip over to the next space for three double crochet. So what you have in asterisks is what you're going to repeat from beginning to end. Okay, now the asterisk beside it, we'll go back up, chain one, skip the next double crochet which is here, and then in the next stitch you'll do three double crochet. Okay, you'll do your chain one here. Then what you're going to do is go to the next gap, or the next space, that's how it's labeled in the pattern, and you're just going to keep doing this till you get to the end. Okay, next you'll do your chain one, and you'll repeat by jumping over to the next, or skipping the next double crochet, and going into the next one for three double crochet. Okay, chain one. So you're going to go into this uh, next space for three double crochet. All 
All right, so now let's count how many we have. It says under here you will have 10 three double crochet groups, okay? So each one of these three double crochet clusters is a group. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so you want a ten, so that is good. Okay, so now what you're going to do is start round three. All right, guys, round three. Uh, you need to make sure and join right here in the top of that first stitch. Now, for round three, it's telling you to chain three and do two double crochet over single crochet. Okay? So you'll chain three and do just like we did in our previous row. Then you're going to do your two double crochet over the top of, of uh, this crochet right here. So you're going to go in this, I'm sorry, in this one. You're going to go right in the top of that one for two double crochet. Okay? Now, the next thing it says is in brackets. So you're going to chain one, three double crochet, twice all in the next chain one space and that is telling you that you have made an increase. So, chain one and three double crochet all in the next chain one space. All right, so chain one, three double crochet all in the next space, which is this gap, which is the same thing we've been doing. So you're gonna put three double crochet here. Okay, but now an increase round means you're going to do that more than once. All right, so, oh yeah, right here it says you're going to do what's in your brackets twice. Okay, you always do what's in your bracket the amount of times that it says right after. So you're going to do that again in the same stitch. So you're going to do another chain one and do another three double crochet. Now any time that you have more than one stitch in a stitch, it's going to be an increase. Okay? So basically you're putting two clusters of three double crochet right here in the same stitch, so you're increasing by one cluster. Okay? Now, next you're going to chain one and do three double crochet in the next space chain one and in the next space you'll do the three double crochet one two and three all right so repeat from around a uh, star to star so you're going to find your star you're going to go back up to here and you're going to do a chain one three double crochet uh, in the next space and then increase in the next. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to do a single crochet and then you're going to jump to the next space for three double crochet and three. Okay. Now what that tells you right here is it's telling you you're going to do three double crochet in one space and then in the next space you're going to do an increase which is this right here. You're going to do two of the uh, double crochet okay, uh, clusters. So this is an increase. This is a single. So this needs to be an increase. So you're going to chain one and do another cluster of three double crochet in the same stitch. Okay? So basically that means every other space you're going to do an increase. Okay? So you're going to chain your one like it told you and then you're going to jump to that next space and this is not an increase. Okay? So you're going to do only three double crochet in this one. And the increase the 
the meaning behind that is to grow your project so you're going to increase until the beanie itself is big enough to fit the head in which you're uh, wanting this to fit okay so you're going to do this all the way around so it says you're going to double crochet in next space increase in the next okay so we just did a single so now you got to do that chain one that they told you to do jump to the next space and this time you're going to do an increase so you'll do your three double crochet like normal now to increase again means you're going to put more than one cluster so you're going to chain one and do three more double crochet in that same space so again you're making your project bigger okay then you'll go back to where it says to chain one and you'll do a single cluster in this next gap so that's just three double crochet and a chain one let me grab myself some yarn here okay now your next space is going to be your increase you're only doing an increase every other space like it said okay so we'll go three double crochet then it says to do that chain one and then you'll go back in that same gap for your next cluster of three double crochet for your increase okay now you'll do your chain one again you'll jump to your next space and this one's going to be a single cluster so three more doubles and of course that chain one now in the last one and normally on most hat patterns um, if you've done your count correctly and you've done your increase incorrectly you always always on this last uh, stitch that they tell you to do is going to be an increase okay so you're going to do your chain or not chain but your three double crochet chain one and then you're going to do your increase which is three more in that same space okay so now you have increased you have gone around and you have made your circle bigger alright so now by the end of round three you're going to single crochet in the top of the chain three to join so you should at this point have 15 clusters of three double crochet because you grew that so you're going to go to the top here and you're going to do a single crochet so let's count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and fifteen okay so we're good so we have 15 double crochet clusters so now we're going to move on to round four okay welcome back we're going to do round four round four says chain three two double crochet over single crochet which is the same as what we've been doing so you're going to chain three and put two double crochet in the top of that single crochet that we did which is going to be right over the top of that first uh, double crochet alright so there's our three now it says you have a star you're going to chain one three double crochet in the next space and repeat around okay so that, that's simple all you're going to do is you're going to chain one and do three double crochet in each space only around okay chain one then the the chain one that you did in between those two clusters on the last round gave you a new space which is allowing you to grow all right so three double crochet here and a chain one and then in the next gap alright so I want you to complete that on your own go all the way around for just three double crochet chain one in each 
um, chain one space. Okay, that should give you a total of 20 groups of three double crochet.